all right so welcome back thanks for tuning in to another video so today's video we're going to be talking about lawn edging yes lawn edging um i got a new tool that i want to show you guys we're going to unbox it and get a quick demonstration on how it works hope you guys like it stay tuned all right so here we go i purchased this new ryobi 18 v1 plus at home depot it's their most powerful string trimmer that Ryobi offer on the market battery operated let's get that correct cordless 15 inch cordless string trimmer I purchased this at Home Depot for about 170 bucks um, you can see it's attachment capable so it has six other attachments that you can actually use with this one little pole here um, that I'm gonna show you once I unbox it I already opened the box up it this product came with a four amp hour battery I already opened it up so I could charge it so I can give you the demonstration um, came with a, like a, a battery and a charger so for all for 170 that's not bad to me um, I like Ryobi products I pick up a lot of them I'm already invested I got like three products so far from Ryobi so this makes the fourth so if it ain't broke don't fix it um, like I said this product by Ryobi probably not the best cord, uh, cordless tr uh, strength trimmer on the market but a lot of people you know it does the job a lot of people like to go with other brands but my yard is very very small I don't, I don't have too much to maintain so Ryobi does the trick for me but I'm just bringing this product to you just in case if guys or anybody is curious about the product you can go over it and you can see how it worked before you um, invest into it or you know you may it may not be the product for you so let's get into it let me unbox it so here we go let's get busy So, like I said, it comes in two parts here. You got the head here, 18 volt. It's probably like a safety mechanism here. Yep, that's the trigger. So, you won't be able to press the trigger unless you press back that handle and then you'll be able to use the trigger. So, that's a little safety feature. All right, so here you go. Let's get rid of that. We got the head here. It's already preloaded with string and they also give you an extra string this is the guard here all of this stuff so you'll be putting it on instructions make sure you register your product because ryobi offers a three-year limited warranty a 90-day um guarantee satisfaction so i guess if you don't like it you can save your receipt send it into ryobi they'll probably send you your money back or another product something like that you have to go on the website to check that out i'm not too uh, sure but just make sure you register your products like i said four amp hour battery the charger is already in the house i will show you that but it's in the house but let's get it together let's get demonstration i know everybody want to see how it works want to see how everything operates and if it's worth the money got your handle here so let's take that off more instructions how to use it how to operate so you got more power if you put it all the way back more runtime if you use it on a lower setting you got 15 inch cutting capacity 13 inch also cutting capacity on a lower setting so it's, it's a it's a pretty nice unique uh, dual tool here that you can use Get everything together. So you just go ahead, and this is part of their new capable um, attachments. And you're just gonna basically put it right in there after you take off this part here. And the product just kind of snaps in place here. And there you have it. Snap right in. Then you can just use that, tighten it up. And boom, everything's all set. All right, so you want to put the handle on. The handle just screws right on here. And then you lift it up, put the handle on, and it tells you 
right there it says handle position so then you hold it like that and everything is ready to go this is the guard the guard goes right on here just like that but um it screws right on i'm not going to put the guard on i don't really like using the guard too much i like to have like free operated like that without using the guard sometimes the guard gets in my way but if you need to put the guard on like i said it screws in it's two screws here it screws right on there so you use the guard if you're if you're not sure about using it freehand like this a lot of the pros use a freehand like this if you you know you're scared to use it that way use the guard always use the guard so only thing we left now to do is plug the battery in let's see how this bad boy fire up battery go right at the top very simple just slide it right in just like that clicks in you're all set let's see how we're looking don't forget to use the safety switch to operate it and there you go and that is on the low setting you switch it to high let's see how I operate now yep there you go that's the high setting so let's go ahead and get in the yard let's see if i could um string trim these edges let's see how good i am i'm not really that good so bear with me all right so let's take a look at the edges before i go ahead and start to trim them and as you can see let's get a better angle here they are overgrown by a lot i already mowed the grass so the grass let's take a look at the grass um, it looks good got that nice green pop that I like everything is um, very even the color is great no weeds and I haven't really did any weed treatments a lot like um this year so that's what happens when you have a thick lawn everything you know the, the lawn itself will fight off weeds if it's real thick and healthy so let's get back to it here like I said the edges are coming up onto the side so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna string trim them and see how I operate let's go to the other side here the walkway now like I said as you can see both sides are very well overgrown so I'm gonna string trim them first let's see how it operates let's see how the tool operates let's get another look from the other way And as you can see here very overgrown so let's see if I can get a straight edge with this new 18 volt battery operated string trimmer by Ryobi all right so here we go I'm gonna start out on the high setting so let's see how I do I'm left-handed so a little bit a little bit of awkwardness because I'm gonna start from the right side here but I am left-handed so let's see how this operates tell you that I'm very very impressed with that just that little line that I actually did it has great power and um, it's very lightweight and it's also very quiet I like that because um, I do a lot of late late cutting like grass and and trimming and stuff when I get out of work sometimes it's like evening it's about five six in the evening and I really don't um, and this is during the weekday so I really don't want to disturb my neighbors so this this tool is actually very very quiet so for those of you that do a little late see uh, late evening trimming or cutting this this is this is pretty great because you don't disturb your neighbors 
Now, I live in the city, so our houses are pretty close together. So you do kind of disturb the neighbor when you're doing yard work. They actually hear all the um, noise. So this is one of the reasons why I actually went to it to the um, battery operated line because I don't really want to disturb my neighbors if I have to do some kind of um, yard work late in the evening on, the, on especially on the weekdays. Now the weekends not so much because people don't really have to work on the weekends, but weekdays you know you want to kind of be courteous to your neighbors and this prep this product is pretty quiet now as you see that first line here that looks pretty good i'm i'm very impressed very impressed let's go to the next side Alright, so let's take a look at this the first edge that I actually completed here. What do you guys think? I think it wasn't that bad. That Ryobi product was not bad. That string trimmer was not bad at all. Look at that. It cut actually like butter through these uh, thick edges here. And that's the reason why I kind of let them overgrow because I actually wanted to see how powerful that Ryobi tool would be. And look at that. Look at the edge here. I kind of messed up a little bit. It's kind of it's kind of hard being left-handed. There's a little 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 bit of awkwardness, but I think I did all right for for the first time using that string trimmer. Like I said, it wasn't too much um power where it sometimes it like vibrates in your hand. It was very very smooth, very smooth, and enough power as you can see to cut through those thick edges. I didn't do the side number two over here because I wanted to actually kind of compare it and show you guys how this first side went. Then want to show um don't want to hold the video too long, but you guys you guys get the picture here. Um, this is a, it's a great tool so far. Um, I'm not sure how long the battery is gonna last. It's a four amp hour, a four amp hour battery, so I don't know how long that's gonna last. If say if people have them bigger bigger yards. Um, like I said, this front yard here combined is about a thousand square feet. Um, and then my back also another 2,500 combined. So I think for an amp hour battery may get the job done. This is the first edge I did here. And like I said, look at that line. It's not too bad. All right. So as you can see, we're done string trimming. What do you guys think? Have anybody ever used this Ryobi string trimmer? Um, from what I see in my first impression of this string trimmer, um, the power was was it was adequate enough where you can cut through some thick edges. Now those edges that I actually um, cut through, I haven't edged all year, so those edges were as thick as they possibly can be. And as you can see, that was just one pass through from the Ryobi string trimmer. Um, I like it so far. I'm not sure how long the battery is going to last because it's a four amp hour battery. They actually have different size batteries. I think it goes all the way up to a nine amp hour battery. So if you need more power, um, longer running time, I would go with a bigger battery. But the four amp hour battery right now seems like it's gonna do the job for my total yard of what, maybe 3,500 square feet. So, but we'll see. We'll probably update on that later on after I play with it a little bit more. But from my first impression, it's a great tool to use great tool for about 170 bucks I don't know what's comparable in that $170 range for a battery operated tool um, maybe you guys can help me out in the comment section if you had any experiences with any other garden uh, lawn tools that that are pretty similar to this Ryobi tool but from my first impression I like it like I said I don't really like putting the guard on the string trimmers when I use them because I like to see um, and this kind of gets in the way but it also helps for people you know if you're not sure and it protects you too so if you're not wearing eyewear i always um suggest wearing eyewear but like i said i don't like using the, the strength the tool you know you get what i'm saying so but what do you guys think of the tool leave it in the comment section subscribe to the channel let me know if you ever use this product let me know if you got a, a comparable product let me know i'm always curious 
This is Lawn Amateur, and I'm going.